you may be thinking. Today's case is Jason Enrile versus Adrian Berlin. Is the plaintiff present? Yes, Your Honor. Is the defendant present? Yes, Your Honor. Please be seated. Plaintiff, what are your claims today? Thank you, Your Honor. My client, Mr. Adaisal Enrile, is bringing a case against his neighbor, Mr. Berlin, for creating a disturbance with excessively loud neighbor music loud at a reasonable hour. This noise has affected my client's ability to sleep, concentrate, and overall well-being. Defendant, how do you respond to these allegations? Your Honor, Mr. Mr. Adrian denies this accusation. He maintains that he is considering neighbor and that any music played was within reasonable limits. He believes Mr. Gaisel is overacting. Understood. Let's proceed. You may call your first witness. I call Mr. Enrile to stand. Yes, sir, right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please be seated. You may proceed. Mr. Enrile, can you describe to me what disturbance you have experienced? Yes, Your Honor. The big W is not here. You know what I mean? Ang last ng music, nakaka-storbo. Tapos kahit ang isita mo sa anay, siya pa yung galit. Gano'n mo ito katagal na experience? Mga ilang buwan na rin po, Your Honor. No further question, Your Honor. Defense, would you like to prosecute Tommy? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Gaisel, can you prove that the music was coming specifically from my client's house? Yes. Sure na, sure ako na siya yun. Kasi, ang pangat ng tugtog niya, paulit-ulit na lang, nakakalit na. So, you're assuming it is, based on your dislike for Dad? Yes, siya lang yung mga bigyan niyang tugtogan. No further questions, Mr. Oka. Thank you. Mr. Enrile, you may step down. Lady, call your next witness. I call the neighbor, Mr. Gupi, to stand. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, or nothing but the truth? Yeah, please be seated. Please be seated. You may proceed. Mr. Dupe, have you noticed any disturbance in the neighborhood? Yeah, gabi-gabi ko narinig yung malakas na music. Pero hindi ko sure kung paano yung nagdala. No further question, Your Honor. Defense. Mr. Gupta, can you confirm whether or not the music was coming from Mr. Adrian's house? No, we are sure. Thank you, no further questions. Gupta, you may step down. Defense, you may call your first witness. May I call Mr. Sean Reyes? Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please. Defense side, you may proceed. Mr. Chagreyes, these last few weeks, do you hear a noise in Mr. Adrian's house? Um, nung mga nakarang araw po, tuwing dumadaan po ako dyan galing trabaho, wala naman po ako nakikita ng tao dyan, lalo po nakapatay yung ilaw. Kaya hindi ko po alam kung ano nila reklamo nila, Mr. Jason. Your Honor, no further questions. Plenty. Do you have any other questions? Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Reyes, sigurado ka ba na wala si Mr. Adrian sa, sa bahay ng mga araw niyo? Yes po, sigurado. Sigurado po. No further question, Your Honor. Defense, you may call your next witness. May I call Mr. Adrian to stand? Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sure I do. Please be seated. You may proceed. Mr. Adrian, did you ever play loud music that disturbed your neighbor? No way. I always keep my music at a reasonable volume. Saka isa pa, nung mga nakarangang buwan, out of town now. Mr. Adrian, do you have any proof? 
Yes, I have clean tickets and for other No further questions. Clean it. Do you wish for first examen? My honor. Oh wait. Mr. Verde, you may step down. Very well. We will now hear the closing statements. Blame it. Your Honor, it's clear my client has been disturbed by someone. The evidence may be circumstantial, but it points to the defendant. We ask that to, we ask that to consider the impact this has had on Mr. Murillo's life. Defense? Your Honor, this is not solid evidence linking Mr. Adrian to the noise compliant. He's been respectful and often out of town. We ask that dismiss these unfounded claims. Thank you. The verdict will now be deliberated. After hearing both sides and quivering the evidence, I find that there is no definitive proof linking the noise disturbance directly to the defendant. Mr. Verde, case dismissed.